I'm Ethel Brooks, Chair of the European Roma Rights Center and Professor of Women's, Gender and Sexuality Studies and Sociology at Rutgers University. I'm a member of the US Holocaust Memorial Council. And as a Romani American, as a mother, as a scholar, as a teacher, as an activist, I feel very deeply, especially as someone who's not of the survivor generation, that we have to carry out acts of remembrance commemorating European Holocaust Memorial Day for Sinti and Roma um, on this August the 2nd, in order to remember those whom we've lost, to remember those who have survived in the midst of mass murder, and to maintain our connection to our history and to our ancestors. We, Roma and Sinti, have maintained our community, our language, our culture for centuries, even in the face of genocide through intergenerational transmission of memory, through a passing down of our culture from parents and grandparents to children, and through an oral history that has been passed down within families. The genocide of Sinti and Roma, the murder of half a million of our people, represents a massive loss of our loved ones and our community. And a tragic loss for the passing down of our history, our culture, and our language. As with our centuries of survival, we have maintained our collective memory and our history and our sense of belonging, even in the face of this loss. But the current moment with the passing of the survivor generation, we as a community face another loss. Sitting down with a survivor or running into a survivor on the street and learning the lessons of the Holocaust, of the murder and the survival of Roma and Sinti is not as possible as it was even just a few years ago. And this year, our grandfather, Holocaust survivor Raymond Guerin, passed away at the age of 94. We had looked to him for our history, for our stories of loss, of survival, for lessons about the Holocaust. And we had also looked to him as an example of resistance throughout his life. After twice escaping internment, Raymond, while in hiding, would bring food to his family, who were still in the camps, allowing them to survive. He joined the French resistance as soon as he was able. And after World War II, married Pauline, found his parents, found his other surviving family members, and continued to work, to live, and to fight for the recognition of his status as survivor, which he received in 2009. He also continued to resist anti-Romani racism wherever he saw it. His life, his stories, and his example are the ones that we continue to follow and to value so that we can continue to resist, to fight, to work, to make the world a better place. We remember Raymond Guerin. We remember the victims of the Holocaust. We recognize the survivors, the resistors, those who are gone and those who are still with us. This year, Hungary, for example, has seen the rise of violent anti-Roma protests. We have seen growing violence against Roma and Sinti across Europe, increased discrimination, segregation, assaults, police brutality, and evictions. We have seen racist lies that blame Roma and Sinti for the spread of coronavirus even as our people have been denied access to water and to homes in the midst of the pandemic. The racism of the Nazis and their allies has not gone away. It's here, and Roma and Sinti continue to suffer because of it. Now, with the passing of our elders who survived, who resisted, who lived to pass down history, it is more crucial than ever for us to commemorate the victims to remember and to share our history and to learn the lessons of the past by standing up for justice, by resisting, by creating a world where everyone's rights are respected, where everyone's histories are told and where everyone's children are protected.